he's going first. I'm going to mark that down. Provinces, nothing fancy. 3-4 three, with, three, with the states. Let's take a look at the board. Attacks which? Margrave. Okay. Uh, you have chapel for trashing. Yeah, so witch and chapel. That's a thing. Uh, village. The only village is nobles and potentially tactician. Hmm. Interesting. And uh, you got alchemist for draw. Non-terminal draw. And bridge. Uh, wow, what are we going to do here? So, like, the dream, the dream, trademark, is double tactician deck with alchemists to support, play a bunch of nobles, play a bunch of bridges, win the game. Uh, uncontested, I'd say that's pretty strong. You have chapel to accelerate, you can play witch, give your opponent all the purples. Now, uh, what's going to be more practical? Well, uh, I think alchemist is a big deal because draw is super important, right? Uh, it allows you to stay on top of your deck size and stuff. So you need to go for alchemist. I don't. I don't think witch is going to be that big of a deal just because it's so easy to stay on top of it. So you want lots of alchemists. You want lots of nobles, and then the game's going to end on piles. Hmm. So alchemists and nobles are the key cards. Given that, I'm going to open chapel. Now he's opened potion. You can open potion. You can also open silver. You need treasures to get up to these cards, yeah. Chapel's nice, but... Uh... My gut tells me I want silver. Uh, on five, uh, I mean, I'm wishing this was a potion at this point because of my draw. Tactician? No. Potion? Yeah. Bleh. And my chapel misses the shuffle. You know why? Because of course it misses my shuffle. Whatever. Um, getting thin ASAP is not priority numero uno here. It's uh, getting those cards. And getting thin ASAP is not necessarily the path to getting those cards. Haven, I believe, is better than nothing. And here, I'm totally getting a nobles. Okay. Still no blood on the alchemist. And now you just drew your deck before your turn started. Let's see if you left yourself enough money to buy an alchemist. And then even if you did, I mean, you can just buy one alchemist per turn, which, I mean, I guess is pretty good, yeah. That sort of works well for denying them to me, I guess. On the other hand, if I get more nobles than you as a result, you know, we have an interesting game state, and since nobles are worth points, you know, that's pretty good. I mean, how many alchemists do you really need if the game's going to end on piles? I mean, I imagine you want to buy a bridge and, like, go for alchemist plus turns. Are you going to be able to swing that? I, I don't think racing alchemist is the smartest thing for you right now. I 
think your next buy here is bridge and then you can do like alchemist silver next turn you can buy alchemist silver for a while and then aim for like nobles alchemist terms uh, I've got another copper don't I I mean I yeah I really want to cycle here okay sure that works and I have alchemist here that's fine this is this is fine this is all just fine I mean it could have been better but it could have been a lot worse now I've got two nobles that's great um, I want to pick up a bridge an alchemist here gold uh, I don't like that gold at all didn't find my potion uh, I think a nobles here is just fine uh, here I have to play this for cards I know this is an alchemist I know I'm gonna draw it dead but uh, eventually there's going to be enough good cards in my deck that it's going to do what I want So he's probably going to get six alchemists, and I'll probably only get four. It's likely at this point. That means I probably need to get pretty thin. I want to pick up bridges when I can. In fact, uh, I'll probably get a bridge over the next nobles. I, I don't know about that. I could decide otherwise. Draw your deck, Haven and Alchemist. You don't have an Alchemist to Haven. Haven of Nobles, probably. Alchemist Bridge. Margrave. Okay, now he's signaling he wants nobles. I know I said I wanted bridge, but it seemed more important to do that. Eventually, like, I'm going to get my alchemist stack going, right? I mean, I feel like I've gotten really bad draws. Like, really bad draws. Super bad draws. I want a bridge. I want alchemists. If I can get my deck under control, 
you know, I'll be in really great shape. I have more nobles. I have enough draw. It's sad that, like, a Margrave attack annoys me. I mean, my deck should be so thin that that doesn't matter. I think he should get Nobles and Alchemist here. And for the first time this game, I just put an Alchemist on my deck. So good. I'm going to discard the crap out of these coppers. So I've got four nobles. My big advantage over him is that I had more nobles. So once he gets the last one and the last alchemist, he's got two more alchemists and a bridge than me. And he's got this random Margrave, and he has like a lot less bad cards. What could I have done about it? Absolutely frickin' nothing. I I don't I don't see I, I don't think I should have Perhaps I could have opened potion given my draw, but I don't know, I think they're just I, I like the silver opening. I think the silver opening's better in more cases. Alchemist, Nobles, and Bridge. a mistake. I think he should be getting bridges. If 
I'm thin enough, I guess I don't need to top deck these alchemists. Pick up another bridge. Or is that smart? I've got another alchemist in there, don't I? I'm going to get Margraved anyway. Yeah, let's not bother. Uh, province, I guess. I should have haven the chapel, not the potion. I'm so stupid. Uh, let's do Margrave Bridge, actually. Uh, that feels a little better, I guess. Normally I'd be like more Normally I'd be excited to read the chat after a game like this so I can know what are the things I did wrong and why. Unfortunately, my hex chat decided to try and update and then failed to update and now it doesn't work. So like I'm probably not going to be able to read the chat. It would be like great if someone had this saved or if like someone was willing to summarize everything they've seen, which is asking entirely too much of everyone. Somehow I'd like to know how I misplayed. I mean, the last game was luck. That was a coin flip. I miscounted one game. The other game, I think it was maybe more clear to me. But this one I don't understand. Like, I, I don't know that I'm ready to admit that this was a bad draw. I don't think chapel missing is the worst thing ever. I don't think... I don't think the way I reacted to it was unreasonable. Was it still bad draws? Um, I can't even get a province here. Or can I? Nope, can't. Fabulous. <laughs> My deck is so bad. And it doesn't really matter what I do. I'll get a duchy. He can get four bridges and end the game. Potion, chapel, hit his chapel, potion misses the shuffle. We don't know where his potion was. His potion was here. 
That's why he played his coppers individually. So he would have been better off with a silver. See, like I'm not I'm not convinced that his opening was better. And I'm not convinced that his chapel not missing the shuffle was what did it. Anyway, he can't end the game. He didn't even play his Margrave. Probably because he bought so many golds. So I get one more turn to basically do nothing. We... Three bridges. You only really need two. A lot of bridges. Okay, great. Yeah, so it would be nice to know what happened that game. I think the right play there was to do whatever, stop thinking about this game, then resign once you're mentally set. Oh, they're talking about being on tilt in between games. Uh... 